At the 2010 Fat Tech Show, Shei America showcased creative die design and press line integration with a live production demonstration. Over the three-day event, hundreds of metal stampers, students, and industry professionals were compelled by the production of a complex automotive bracket designed to reduce vibration through the use of ball bearings. The trick and attraction was the engineering behind the ball bearing insertion. To produce the bracket in as few steps possible, the balls are inserted while the bracket is being stamped. The insertion is accomplished through a 16-stage progressive die where at about halfway through, the balls are placed and pressed into four pre-tapped holes. But how do the balls get to the die? The balls are loaded from a hopper stationed at the back of the press. From the hopper, the balls travel through flexible tubing to an in-die ball feeder. At the top of each press stroke, four balls at a time are fed into a retractable in-die tray. An instant before the hit, the tray extends out and sets the balls into place, ready to be pressed into the bracket using 121 tons of controlled force. Such a precise process requires constant monitoring. Taking a closer look in and around the die, you'll discover several sensors. To make sure that the balls are actually loaded and inserted, four pin sensors are built into the top die. On each stroke, the sensors compress on the ball bearings. If a ball is missing, the sensor will signal the controller to stop the press. But that's not all. Because everything about this process requires perfect timing, the position of the metal strip must be monitored. To do this, a whisker sensor makes contact with the end of the strip if the sensor loses contact, it tells the controller to stop the press. And for added security, an optical sensor makes sure that the final part is successfully cut from the strip and on its way to the collection bin. These sensors help to make a perfect part every time. They also protect the die from damage. If a ball doesn't drop, if the metal strip comes up short, or if the part never makes it to the collection bin, it could mean hundreds or even thousands of dollars of repair to a very expensive stamping die, not to mention the loss of production time. To eliminate another step, the demonstration integrated automatic scrap removal. As the press pumps out the parts, the resulting scrap falls onto the conveyors and is carried to a scrap hopper for easy disposal. Shea America thanks Great Lakes Metal Stamping, the masterminds behind the die and process. Through their contribution, Fabtech attendees witnessed a self-feeding, self-monitoring, and self-cleaning precision stamping system, and took away new ideas to save money, pump out more parts, and free up more man hours to take on new jobs and hopefully buy more Shea E-presses.